Hey, this is Jets from 2002, and welcome to my first look at Planet Zoo Beta. And here's my sexy ass. Yes. Because I'm not picking an adult. Because <laughs> I'm kind of wearing something similar today, anyway. Um, anyway, we're going to get started here. And, uh, yes, I'm standing on where I live. Absolutely amazing. Why don't you just come over here? It's nice and hot. And actually, no, it's actually pretty cool outside lately because it's nighttime. We are going to start the scenario. Now, mind you, the career mode is probably overdone on the internet, but you know what? I am going to take my own kind of take at this. I tried to do a little bit, but it kind of crashed on me. Now, mind you, it is a beta, so I mean, I did report some things. <laughs> um, we could resume, but I'm actually going to start new because I actually want to learn a little bit more about the game and there seems to be a bit of a learning curve it did take me some time to learn a lot about planet coaster but planet zoo oh my god yeah it's, it's completely different it's similar but not even and here we are ah hey yo at hema too yeah yeah oh oh sorry about that i i, I have a habit of slipping back into the planko language <laughs> It's yes, you good do. to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist Hi, Bernie. you call me Bernie. Hey, the look, it's the pesky lemurs. It is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> look at this. As this is know, absolutely I amazing. Zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened and a source of great pride for me. And pride, thanks to a lion beautiful program animals. in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation. And yes, you are. You come in. I know. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing at Elephantes. the lion So it's up to you to finish everything off. Yes, I know. And it's going to be worry, absolutely though. ridiculous. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. Yes, My you are. My headkeeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Or even better, one that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. Your jokes are just as terrible as mine. If not worse. Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Yeah, now, I don't I worry. I'm not as uh, diploma because we're about to get really <laughs> putty as he is. But before yes. we begin the real work, how about we familiarize oh, you with park. the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? Oh, I have. We'll start by popping over and having a look see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. All right. So basically, from the career mode, as far as I know, things are highlighted. So basically, did you know that we check out the grizzlies? Also known as Ursus. Oh, Dostoy. you are just taking a crap right in front of me. This is exactly what I deserve, isn't it? Oh, but then again, given the chance, oh. I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> Bear butt. Um, Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. Well, where's the Charmin commercial for this? <laughs> this is where you can find out all kinds of information. It needs some toilet animal. paper. The most important thing being its overall welfare. So anyway, so we have this entire menu here, so today as we go through your objective. And she wants but me now, to enter the animal camera. Animal. Ooh. Why don't you select Bear the button. camera at the bottom of its information panel? This is just amazing. I don't know, I was having so, so much now, fun just actually looking at the animals. To get a close look at your animals. I got you distracted. Can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. it oh, because I'm okay, not on it. Okay, ready, wait, wait, wait. Hop over to the other side of the zoo oh, double clicking the actually lighters. does do that. Okay. I've marked their location for you to find. All right, so off away from bear butts and uh, we are going to locate these freaking lions. Lions, where are you? Over here. Panthera Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats. And Come on, nibble on it. There's 40 lions in a pride. Although prides nibble. of that size are pretty rare. Nibble. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Yeah, I mean, Nancy, I agree. You, you are very intelligent. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to our warthog habitat and see what needs doing there. 
I can't believe the frame rate in this game. Oh, what? Oh, you want me to locate an empty habitat, don't you? Of course you do. Making me work. Why are you making you me work? Can see, it's a lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. Yes. Well, two something. It is. The warthogs. <laughs> so are I we gonna get to the warthogs? To adopt a pair of them. To okay. adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. So we go to animal trading. As you can tell, I've done some of this already. Um, <laughs> but I need to learn a little bit more of this game. All right, so on them and select buy from the side menu. Right, okay, so we adopt them from here. And we adopted both of them as she talks. We could order a dozen elephants. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically yeah, I'm that crazy. in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Which, okay. as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? I guess send to zoo. Okay, that's one. And this one. We send right when to you. you. Ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center. I saw them running in the background. Deliver them to your selected habitat. Nancy, I, see, I can't listen to you anymore. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. As That's you can right. see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Oh, no, no, no! Don't run! You bastard! Get over here! Quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good there we standing go. that these warthogs are in the very <laughs> of health. Right, Look at how fast this going! How do you get a warthog that fast? You see, each animal in the zoo My butt would be tripping over everything. Statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised Dear of God. different areas. Nutrition, there we go, there's one. Social health, habitat, and enrichment. Yeah, so it's a basic, basically basically she's talking about an animal, the menu. Bring up their animal welfare information. Alright, let's panel, let's get out, out of this guy. Where you can see how they're doing. That and way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. And basically so she's just talking about this. You and can apparently check the Zoopedia for more information. Yes, uh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. I think uh honestly let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, okay. each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Small, small. Animals also require stimulation to keep them Oh, hell, we'll put two. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that oh. bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Shall we put Zim on? No, no, no. Let's put Zim on Beth over here. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, yeah, could maybe some practice. I don't know. Today, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and wotsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. Ostriches. Ooh, okay. Ostrich. Not to be confused with Ostrive. You, you're over here. Okay. Okay. So, Job number one here is to add get out of a that. habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Right. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keeper? Okay. So, out? <laughs> just make sure it's hooked up to place the, the so habitat gate. Habitat gate. Ooh. I'm on my way. Right. Aren't I just so Let's good at this? Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. Ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. All right, we'll we'll do that. Bricks for you, bricks for everybody. Like Spike. Anyway, <laughs> we'll continue on. Um, my graphics settings are on medium, and I seem to be struggling. Good work. Remember. Before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Okay. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least um. not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Oh, edit barrier? Right, okay, so we're gonna do this. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. 
And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. All right, okay. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, donation box, the facilities. The animal, they'll make a donation. There Just we go. Sure oh, you know what? Easy to reach places like near a viewing point. There. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income. There we go. Zoo, so make sure you remember them. We will remember. I remember now. All right, you finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Yep. Let's get. Come on, let's them. get to it. Oh, that's right. I have to do it. Yeah, you're making me do all the work around here, aren't you? All right. Okay. So we need some ostriches. Let's adopt them all. They're all going to be transferred to the trade center. And we are going to go and click on this out of this little animal trade center menu. Send them to the zoo and then click it. Beautiful. Find you. If you have already seen people do this, this is just me getting my first look at this. <laughs> oh, God. Or second look. The, fir the first look crashed. Always a fun time. To be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add okay. A suitable feeding station, water station, and so habitat. food enrichment item. All right. Well, it's see, the deal is place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. All right. Same thing as Planet Coaster, basically. You rotate with Z. You hold Z, and you move the mouse. Beautiful. So if you do this. Okay, a slow feeder, we'll put that there, and a food bowl, and obstructed. Obstructed by what? Grass? Oh, that object. Hooray! Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Okay. You know, they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, no, but I do now. Ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> I wish I could be that happy well, with terrible well, jokes. He certainly seems impressed. Did oh wait, I am. Speed camera joke. Every time we get an ostrich. <laughs> so now we've made the ostrich's life. Oh a man, bit he really better. is as bad as me. Let's do ha -ha! for the keepers, shall we? To make the ostrich name is Haha. -ha. The ostriches and hippos. We should build a new keeper hut. Oh my God! Keeper okay. So where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed near to the habitats to make okay, sure the so keepers don't waste their time walking. Right, let me move this down. They should be looking after the animals. Okay, a keeper hut. Okay, so we got a little classic keeper hut here. And oh, okay. Let's rotate this a little bit. Let's get this here. Beautiful. Done. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper. But the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, oh. But bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Oh, screw the guests. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. I, I got gotcha. you. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built transformer? keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? I'm trying. It's not loading. Oh, wait. I'm being the idiot. Which way does it go? Oh, path. There we go. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you huh. to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So mm. once you've placed your transformer, you can. I may have figured out why I'm lagging. To turn the heat map off. Well, I'm not really lagging. I'm just getting terrible frame rate. <laughs> um, Lovely work. Well, we now could turn it off. Now the can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Well, that's good, isn't Let's it? Let's get on to your next objective then. Yes. Bengal Keep me busy. Tigers. We want to tigers. Some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Oh, okay. You're going to make me do this from scratch, aren't you? From scratch? Well, I'm yes. in concrete, I expect. <laughs> so go ahead and build it. And don't forget the habitat gate. Okay, good. It's always best wow. to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. All right, let's, let's build this. Okay, so... Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Let's do this. Okay, so we put a gate here, over here, 
And I could actually just change the length and all that, but right now we're just, uh, we're just having some fun. Learning the game. All right, the learning curve here. There we go, I just put in a curve. There's your learning curve for you. Now I'm just as bad as Birdie in his jokes. Oh no, 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 my wall, no. OCDs, OCDs, no, 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 no. Click. I want my wall nice and purdy. I can do this. Okay, it's not nice and purdy. I, I, well, I, I screwed up already. All right, so we're gonna put this wall here and we're gonna connect it to this one, right? Wait, does it automatically, like, curve for me? Oh, straight, straight, straight. Beautiful, okay, so there's a straight and a curved option. Okay, gotcha. All right, so what I wanna do is now click on this and uh, let's see, add a habitat gate. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need one. Oh no, barriers. Okay, we need a gate and we are going to put one this side. There we go, now, we have a gate. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you Okay. Think? Yeah, the way yeah. we do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay, so okay, what do we do? We edit the barrier? You should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Oh, double-click it all does? Oh, okay, that also does it. Great. Now, highlight the entire perimeter of the oh, habitat. No, no. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Ah, okay, so we now just do this the perimeter selected, and you can select it all by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool All right, upwards. so we, okay, we, we, sure we got it, we got it. Four meters. Oh, four, okay. All right, good enough. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place. And Thank you. Most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. Oh, good for I us, isn't it? it's time we adopted those tigers. Yeah, let's go for it. Animal trading. Let's do it. Bengal tiger. Adopt. Wow, they're expensive. Good thing it's not my money. Send to zoo. I want five grand. Really, I do. <laughs> Who doesn't? Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. And hey, Nancy, please we'll do tell me how. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Oh hell, I don't even have windows out here. We have no windows or viewing areas. This is hilarious. All right, so we're gonna place a food area down. And the funny part about this is we have no viewing areas. Oh, this is absolutely excellent. I mean, we could just, man, the terrain around here is terrible. Okay, so say we're gonna have a viewing area over here, instead right? Instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All oh. you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Okay, so I went into terrain. I, I've got that. Oh, the tigers are my way, or I was just waiting for your command. Yes, that'll do. Nicely. Same thing as Planet Coaster, so course, that's just not like a problem. The warthogs and ostriches. These tigers will also need some enrichment. <laughs> Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? I mean, there's no viewing area. How do I do that? <laughs> okay, we'll play some toys. Boom. Boom. Okay, it's, really it's like, yeah, we have a frozen blood pumpkin and a nice now, little rubbing the pad. The tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. The hell, they can hide from the guests in this park. To think of that just as Look at this. Weather. There's like Go on, no... A shelter to their habitat. Okay, you I'll can add one. one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just bits and bobs down indeed. the blueprint that I've already built for you. I'm just going to go build it from your blueprint because... Laziness, that's why. Oh, poor dad. What the hell? I'm sure it can't <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Are they miffed? Select a tiger and bring up its information I'm panel. miffed. I'm miffed. I'm just, I'm totally miffed. See? Absolutely miffed. Ooh, look at that grass. Hey, wait a second. We have no... F f oh, God. I'm... 
Rotate that, please. Just to <laughs> just put it there. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. It's not even it's not even technically going to be away from the viewing area, is it? Oh, oh, here. Okay, no, no. One-way glass. It won't let me. Interesting. Maybe because I have to do other things? Oh well. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see them. Okay, so increase terrain welfare to 100%. So we're gonna click on Tiger it. now. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay, they need less long grass. And they okay, need more then. soil. Open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, okay. that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Yeah, I love terrain! Oh my god, that brush! That brush is ridiculous. Soil? Soil for everybody? Oh, you know what? Intensity. Doing it 100%. There we go. More soil, less grass. More short grass. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna change right this to short grass. All animals need plants and trees from their oh, own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, like crap Asia, around here. Europe, that sort of thing. It yeah. looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. Okay, to so get we're a gonna go fit, use here. plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Okay. Although, if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. Wait, 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 wait. So let me click the on it again. Would also want a certain amount of their habitat Environment. covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Hawthorn bush? Is that what they're complaining about? What is this? Now, waddle? As you can see, some of I'm the plants of the currently waddle. in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. Thank you. I figured that out already. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go into nature. And you what do they need, then? You can find all the plants you need in the nature section. And you can use the now. to only show the types of plants you want to see. All right, so case, tropical, temperate, and grassland in Asia. All right, so we need a continent of Asia. We need tropical, temperate, and grassland. So we go... See? No? Property? No? Biome. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tropical? Temperate and grassland. Okay, so these all meet that particular uh, thing. We need we need a viewing glass. This is great. This is absolutely amazing. Ricky Balboa tree. Holy crap, that thing's big. Sure, let's put it in the corner. Beautiful. Does it does it work? It works. Okay. We need more plant coverage. We need more shrubs! We can get a couple of these over here. Oh, little ones. Let's get a couple baby ones here. Oh, no, no. Give me my big ones. Like that. Oh, we can actually use bracket. Ooh, bracket. Shrubbery. Freaking love it. Ooh, I love my shrubs. <laughs> oh, we can put some more bracket over here. How many plants do we need? Plant type and coverage severely bad. That's terrible, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely terrible. Let's put some little palms. Okay. I recognize some of these trees. Ah, uh, yes, good old platter coaster. Ooh. Let's go ahead and put these here. No, 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 no. We'll put that there. And you? Fancy? Aren't we just so fancy around here? Did we do it? Hooray! We did it! They say the good fences make good neighbors. Yes, I they guess do. that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> yep. Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> okay, Bernie, calm down. Oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Calm down. No one's testing anything. Now, okay. All right, locate right. the Indian peafowl. Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I'll fix this enclosure later. Social welfare. 
Uh, peafowls, peafowls, peafowls. Those are peacocks, aren't they? All right, you call them peafowls. All right, we call them peacocks. The peafowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good Ooh. gander at how they're doing. I am having quite the gander, aren't I? They are too. Come on, come on. Expand their social bup, bup, bup. welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. Oh, what social? Um, uh, two few adults. Clearly got plenty of space, and they're not stressed. But it how looks many are like there? their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out. Those are like two or three Click or something. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Um, social tab is this. Right, Adult population. See, the oh, there's only two. Their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Ooh, I know where to go for that. Well, I know where to go. Off you pop to the animal market. I'm already there. I'm there. So I'm I, in the animal. Oh my god, the noise they make. I forgot. They are absolutely freaking hilarious. <laughs> Sent to the zoo. This is the this is the most fast paced, absolutely caffeinated zoo run I have done. Good work on those pea fowls. I You're welcome. They'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Oh, the snow leopard! Yes, let's go for it. Where are you? <laughs> okay, we're here. We found it. Oh. Just like people, animals Look at that. can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone putting the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit <laughs> I'm stressed by not the a tea drinker, so sorry. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This yes. will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. I have it, but I have a tip. I have a tip, Nancy. How about we we change the name of the snow leopard? Because I think that would stress me out too if I was named Gulag Jagadennisnik. What am I doing? Okay. She wants me to do things, right? And we do a straight piece. Okay, so I deleted that. We're going to do a straight piece. And we add of that. Course, when an animal isn't in its natural ah, okay. It's to be too hot or too cold. I figure and it should be easy. For the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding hey. some coolers to their habitat. But let's Live in Texas by opening up the temperature and heat complain and about the British weather. The temperature in the leopard's habitat. All right, so she's talking about temperature now. So snow leopards like the snow. Okay, we got that. We got terrain, we got environment. Ooh, there it is. Temperature. Right there. Ah. It is. Okay, can, can we actually, can, can we? We still can't do it from here. All right, so here's the temperature. And, uh, oh, there's my little coolers. Okay, that cools there. So if we have one, say, maybe over here and perhaps over here yeah, I'll put one over there too heat maps for all sorts of helpful things so do be yes sure you to can explore them and make good use of them I'm trying increase the terrain welfare all right It'll so take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters but now right we've got the coolers in we can address the leopards terrain welfare <laughs> you see what the leopard where's the leopard here is snow and rock so let's make that happen what is this hey look it's a snow leopard Snow leopard poop. There's snow leopard poop. Ah, uh, okay. So she wants me to address the terrain welfare. So terrain, uh, it's not set up. Needs less grass, long grass. It needs more rock and needs more snow. All right. So let's get some some terrain. Let's paint some goodness for our lovely little snow leopard. Let's just put a bunch bunch of snow, and we'll go from there. <laughs> There we go. Well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So Are you I'd serious? Like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. <laughs> no, I like that this. This is fun. That will increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Um, yes it is. Now, okay, so... to quickly so. see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Zoo? Zoo down here? Oh, okay. Zoo down here. 
And find my As animals here. See, this list shows you the animals overall. We have an fair. anaconda, so a lion, you can quickly pop a beetle, using the locate button. <gasps> wolves. Great. I'm off for a cat. Oh while my you god, sure the lemurs. The, the well looked after. The lemurs are dehydrated. <laughs> I'm starving. No, we need to check out the lemurs. What have we done to our lemurs? All right. Okay. So. First things first, right? Do we have enough staff for this? Okay, you know what? I, I don't know. Okay, let's let's click a lever and see what's going on. Where's the lever? Where are you? Where? I just saw one. Is it playing with a ball? Ball? Look how adorable it is! Look at you! Look at you! Adorable little thing. All right, you're starving. Oh my god! You're starving. You need nourishment. Animal is starving. Requires keeper. Okay, so we need a keeper. So... Oh, so my instincts were right then. Um, we may need to just put one here. There we go. And um, I believe we need staff then. So we have a caretaker, keeper, mechanic, security, vendor, veterinarian. Keeper. You, do your damn job. Now, no, now. Somebody's actually doing their job. Is that who we hired? I actually don't know. You're Jared. Hi, Jared. Are you from the Subway commercial from back in the day? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, habitat, right. Click on it. You, so enrichment. It's insufficient. So I'm wondering if we actually put something else in here. Like, uh, not barrier, nature, facilities, habitat, habitat, food, and water. What if we put another one? That sounds like protesting. Hey! Hey! PETA! Get out of here! I'm taking care of my animals. Come on now. Come on. Damn it, Peter. Everywhere I go. Um, <laughs> I can't believe they have protesters in this game. It's great. Um, terrain. You need less grass. Short, okay, no, no. You need less short grass and need more soil. I've got an idea. Terrain. Soil for everybody. Wow, that was easy. Basically, they like it dirty. Great. Well, that's solved. Environment. Ooh. So they do, don't like the bracket, and they don't like the foxtail palm. So, you. Okay, you're the foxtail. Get rid of you. Uh, bracket. I know what bracket is by now. Seems to be my favorite shrub. And favorite shrub it is. Unfortunately, they do not like it, so we're just gonna get rid of you and you because you're in the wrong environment You what are you hiding over here for? Get your butt out of here. So apparently <laughs> oh, I crashed at the lemur exhibit. That's that is just amazing. All right, so we're gonna continue on where we're at uh, Balls right lemurs like balls it just sounds so wrong, but apparently they like toys, right? It's like, okay, so I, if I actually go ahead and click you, my little lemur, my dying lemur, unfortunately, look at you, you're starving and dehydrated. Are you stuck? Can we move you? Uh, call a vet. <laughs> call keeper to habitat, please. We got problems over here. This little lemur, I feel bad for him. Or her. Her. Um, okay, so, coverage. We need plants. Tropical. We need African tropical plants in here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, look at that. We got that done. Now, we do have alerts here, and all the lemurs are in lockdown for a long time. Why are all the lemurs in lockdown? Please don't crash on me here. Okay. Yeah, we're the lemur exhibit seems to be a little bit glitchy. 
And I'm not sure if it's all of these. I don't know why they're all in lockdown. There must be a reason for it. Wait, let me move this rock. Is that lever actually stuck? Okay, let me click on this lever for a second. Set animal to storage. Okay, set to storage. Okay, let's go into the animal trading. Let's go into the animal market, animal trade center. And let's actually return to habitat. And is this it? A box all animals? Maybe that lever was actually stuck? Severely dehydrated. Okay, so... Oh, look at it! Look at it! It's adorable! Apparently this one's not close to death, though. Okay, so... This one, though... How are you doing? Food enrichments. Hmm. Severely dehydrated, starving, close to death. I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit. So the objective is to get this up to 80%. <laughs> but the entire park seems to be falling apart. I am absolutely lost. Or maybe something's glitched over here. Alright, I'm done with the lemurs. They, they're giving me hell. Absolute hell. <laughs> I'm going to the wolves because I haven't seen the wolves. Oh my god, come on, come on now. Where are you? Where are you? <gasps> Look at you, you're sleeping. Oh, curled up. Oh, I just want to be curled up too, actually. Okay, well, we'll click the one I see. It looks like enrichment's doing terrible too, in toy enrichment. So what do we do? We just... Duplicate that? Habitat? Okay. Arboral feeding platform. Food tray. So if we put a second one here, will they be happy? Hmm. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, you're amazing, <laughs> and my computer can barely handle you. It's amazing. You need toy enrichment. All right, fruit enrichment, seriously. I feel like something's not right around here with food. I, or I have just not learned anything. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going? Toy enrichment. Toys, toys, toys. Beds and shelters, enrichment items. Ooh. <gasps> chew toys! You! Grab a chew toy! <laughs> I just pulled it. <laughs> That's great. I love how the items are actually interactable. Even if they're not using it. That's hilarious. Oh wow, I only needed two? And food enrichment. Is, is this working? Is the food working? Is this a glitch? <laughs> Um, the folly of betas. Nothing is perfect, but it will be fixed. Come over here. Feed my lovely animals. Stop picking up the. Du He's picking up poop. I guarantee you, it's wolf poop. Either way, let's try to get this to eighty percent in some other way. Terrain. What's terrain doing? Terrible. Oh, right. We can actually do this. We can do terrain. Animal needs less grass that's long. So less lo- Okay. They need, need more soil. I have a solution for that. Oh, I got it. Environment. Our environment's good. Enrichment's terrible because of food. And I don't see how the, the animals are just not being fed, dude. They're just not being fed. Since when did we have zebras around here? <laughs> I had no freaking idea we had zebras. 
Enrichment? Look at you! You have beech trees we don't need. Yeah, we can take care of this. That's a beech tree? No. I should know what a beech tree is. I could do that. I could improve you. I could improve terrain. I'm going to improve terrain, so you need a less gra short grass, more long grass, and need less soil. Oh, I know how to solve that. Long grass for the win. Oh my god. 78%. Is there anything else you need? Enrichment. Food and toys. Well, unfortunately, there's something going on with food, so... Toys! Toys, we can do toys. Let's do toys. Let's do... Let's do toys. What would you like to play with? I don't know, what do zebras like? Oh, wait. Species. Oh! Okay. So if we do... Common ostrich... Common, okay. Scroll down and we get the zebra. Plain zebra. Oh, grab ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying colors. There's oh, for the love of God. More to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Let's continue on. Mm, sounds like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Not really. Purring, grunting, screaming, booming. <laughs> All the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was. How about the lemurs? Huh? <laughs> the lemur exhibit was and so don't ridiculous. Don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so we're happy this is working out. And it's funny because it's morning right now. Foxy coffee. <laughs> oh, coffee! Coffee, as give me, give me. Seems considering we just met. When I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. <laughs> After the one I did have, obviously. But you oh, see, God. zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals. But she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm -hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. Oh, God, she's I'll one of them. Saving a couple of species. Oh, God bless her. Having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> Well, I wish her luck. It's a lot of... Well, anyway. I think on that note, I am going to leave this right here with the zebra exhibit. Look at these animals. Are you actually feeding people? Did you just give me all that hard work for nothing? Alright, well, anyway. We just did the career mode. With... With much, much difficulty. Look at this view. Oh, wait, what? What is it? F? No, G. G. There we go. Oh, whoa. Look at this. That is just amazing. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. We have played the career mode, so the scenario is done, supposedly. Um, first look episode, what do you think? I don't know. I actually do enjoy the game. It's got quite the learning curve. I think there are a few glitches around here, but uh, my god, it's a beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful. This is quite one hell of work, and I also see somebody stuck. Oh god. Oh no, he's stuck. All right, it's not perfect. It's a beta, but hey, you know what? If you did enjoy this ridiculous episode of Planet Zoo Beta First Look, please go ahead and hit that like button below. Feel free to judge me in the comments, let me know what you think, and if you're new, feel free to also subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Planet Zoo, and of course, much, much more. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, peace!